Rider's Rome. And you do this, and you did that, and I need to know this, and I need to know that. Dip, dip, dip. Welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we have a frauditor from New Jersey that embarrasses himself two times during separate occasions during a city council meeting. He has a little speech, and it goes really bad. Enjoy the video. So again, public comments on the resolutions only. Uh, are we doing the list here or no? Yeah, okay. Mr. Christo? Hi, right, Christo. Go ahead. All right, so this resolution, I believe, is um, R092, resolution accepting, uh, quote, an awarding contract to Goksu Construction. We'll just say it's $200,000. So... $200,000 for this company, um, it seems to me somebody just created this website, just like Councilman Brescia said, somebody created this website last night. When they talk about communications, leadership, and safety, they can't even properly spell safety. Are you kidding me? Um, when you go to check out previous projects, let's check out some of their previous projects. Oh. You see that? What's, what's that B, new BA's name? Matt? Oh, you see that, Matt? They're not even uh, construction projects. It looks like someone Googled a bunch of random photos. Put it so what it seems like to me, it seems like this frauditor does have some legitimate concerns about construction contracts that have been awarded to certain companies by the city. That's totally fine. But he's going to start to lose his cool and lose his credibility really soon on their website and then started smoking crack and i'd call this uh hippie crack poetry that's what it looks like to me let me read some of this um absolutely disgusting um and you read the nice one councilman brescia you didn't even go to the sexually explicit one um analogy bleach bright creamy fix futile garbage guardian gypsy and security kinetic hmm that doesn't sound like a project to me. Um, deficit, forgotten, grand, sensual, sexy, whim, wreckage. I just won't even continue reading anymore, Councilman Brescher, because we have children watching and it's very graphic. It's almost, it's absolutely disgusting. When you go and you see, um, now let's go see some more things. People that are watching this, Goksu dash dev.com um anyone watching live at home can go to this and see exactly what i'm talking about how much time left do i have uh marlena how much three minutes okay um check out pre so they're telling us to check out their previous projects they have no projects um it's a company out in sparta so when, when you go and you look at Gok Goksu Construction, okay, this, this whole website is a generic page. The whole page is generic. It's, it's a website app that's telling you what to fill in. These people are so lazy that they didn't even fill it in yet with their own company yet. The website claims it's been around since 2018. Um, somebody should, should really uh, investigate to see when this uh, website was made. And, and I'll, I'll bet it was made yesterday. I'll bet it was made last week by one of Sam Joshi's people that you guys are all getting paid. Sam Joshi's ticket. Council President um, Coyle, you're, you're, you're the council president. You should have, how, how did something like this make, make it on the agenda? Did you even research to see who we're putting on the agenda? This is absolutely disgusting. Um, are you guys gonna actually vote for these uh, hippies on crack? that don't even know how to web make a website, much less a construct run a construction company. Uh, did you, Councilman Patel, did you check out this website? Councilman Patel, did you check out this website? The Council President, I, I just want to cut this uh, conversation short. I understand that, uh, Mr. Cristo, you are against this resolution. However, you know, this council has done the due diligence. We did ask questions to the appropriate authority and as long as there is an assurance that the work will be done as per the specs, I think 
I, I don't know what else uh, this council can say. I mean, I, I can have somebody come here and do the job for half the price. Um, yeah, so, so far he's been able to keep his calm, but that is about to change. Check this out. Two, $200,000 for a bathroom in the senior center. And I heard what you said, uh, Councilman Ship Freeman, uh, it has to be accessible to uh, disabled people, but it still doesn't rise up to $200,000. You know, we can't even build the school out here but we want to pay two hundred thousand dollars for a porta potty, a glorified porta potty. Four, um, four bathrooms. Four, oh, four, four, four glorified four porta potties. Accessible bathrooms. Um, Councilman Brescher, are these Trump type bathrooms where we got gold plated everything, um, diamonds? Um, we're talking about seniors that were disrespect. I'm not, no, it's not disrespect to be a watchdog. It's disrespectful to break Robert's rules of order and interrupt me when I have the floor speaking. I don't interrupt you when you have the floor. Absolutely disgusting. Council, uh, council president, you're the council president. You should take lead and do something about this. She's acting disorderly. She's acting disrespectful. She's been making uh, <clears throat> comments this whole meeting that I believe were, were directed at me. Um, would you consider trolling, uh, calling someone an educated Christo? You can continue, um, Christo. Oh, fine. okay. Okay, speaking. please don't interrupt me. Thank you, Joyce. I, I would appreciate that. So we're going to, I understand you might be getting some money under the table, but no, no need to sir, disrespect sir, me. Sir, you're asking for respect. You should give respect. I don't need respect. I need you to respect my civil rights. Keep your I'm mouth shut. I'm respecting your Keep civil your rights. Keep your mouth shut. Do council not talk president, to me tell that him way. To shut Do his not mouth. talk to the council Tell him to way. shut his damn mouth. You should not North be talking Wave, to shut counsel. your damn mouth. I have the floor. I hear you, sir. Shut you don't your need mouth. to yell. Shut your you. mouth. I hear shut you. Shut your mouth. Okay. If you hear me, then shut Chris, your mouth. Chris, okay. Okay. Chris, why, why does he continue no. opening Council his mouth? We're going to end this. You know. you Is that why we're time. hiring a new lawyer? Chris, so you can, that, can hear your time. It, it, uh, how much time do I have left, Marlena? Councilman Patil, I love you, Marlena. You're such a sweetheart. Okay, your time is in. Thank you, Christo. Yeah, so that was round one. During the next meeting, he gets even crazier, and then the security guards are ready. They're surrounding him just in case he explodes. Dr. Bragan, would you be so kind to hand uh, the Board of Education president um, a piece of paper? Hey, piece of evidence. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm handing the Board of Education president this piece of paper. For yeah, me. why not? Mr. President. Now that it was handed, now that it was handed by a third person, you have now been served my cease and desist letter. Thank you. I'll let you go back to your duties. I just. Needed to record that for transparency and accountability later. Hey, Doug, why did you put a uh, cordon off the first two rows? Attorney, what's going on here? Why did he do this? Don't you think it's weird that they showed Ruben's resume and the lawyer Ruben never shows up here? Yeah. It's a typical bait and switch with these people. Hey Doug, um, is this is is this just for today's event, or is this going to be standard operating procedure here? Don't know. Okay. Is there any reason why you didn't allow my rebuttal, even though the uh, laws, policies, and procedures allow it? Yet somehow, Manesh. He knew to give up his rebuttal time, I mean his, his standard time. You know who this guy reminds me of? He really reminds me of Annapolis Audit. This guy has a huge vendetta against the city, trying to sue the city. Obviously we don't have the full story here, but he does seem a little bit unhinged. Time to speak later. Even, first of all, you never formally announced, you never formally announced it. So it shows you're telling people in the back, back room deals what to do. I don't have to follow that. You give rebuttal, I don't have to surrender my original time to get rebuttal time. And the board should advise you of that. Huh? 
I, I, I can't. I can't hear you. No, that's not the law. That's not the law. That's not the policy, and that's not the procedure of this meeting. And he never announced any uh, policy changes to the public. So I, I suggest you advise. Six, six minutes is policy. We don't have to forfeit that in order to get rebuttal. Okay, we don't have to do his... It is in there. It is in there. I'll show it to you. It is in there. The word rebuttal is not, but it says after... It, 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 I don't have to have a seat. I won't be out of order. I'm recording right now, and I'm allowed to air grievances to my government officials as provided in the Constitution. I'm not acting disorderly. I don't have to have a seat. I don't have to have a seat. Well, you, when you start the meeting, we're not started yet, are we? When you start the meeting. When you start the meeting. When he's saying he doesn't want to sit down, he's starting to sound like my two-year-old daughter. It's like, come on, dude, just have a seat. You'll get your chance to speak. And then they might take you more seriously if you calm down a little. When you start the meeting, and I don't have to sit down. I can stand during the meeting. Doug, Doug, I don't have to follow what, what you say. You know, he is the presiding officer. He is not the dictator. He can't, he can't just do anything he wants. I respect your rights. I want you to be able to speak. You're have six minutes. You received my um, cease and desist letter? Yes? Thumbs up that you received my cease and desist letter? You're disrupting the meeting. I'm not disrupting. There is no meeting. You didn't start it yet. I'm calling the meeting back to order. Everyone needs to have a seat. That's the name they gave me, brother. South Edison. The real South Edison. Um... So, Douglas, um, I just want to start off with the lawyer and Douglas, um, you know, I spoke to, people don't know, but when I spoke to you guys earlier, you said there's no rebuttal time. Um, you're a liar, Doug. You don't know how to do your job. Lawyer, you don't know how to give proper legal advice. Um, stop telling them what they want to hear. Give them the legal advice. You said there was no rebuttal, did you not? Um, no participant may speak more than once on the same topic until all others who wish to speak on that topic have been heard. You were right, lawyer. Um, it doesn't say the word rebuttal, but that's a rebuttal. And we don't have to forfeit our original time in order to get a rebuttal later. You can't just change uh, the law, policies, and procedures just because you feel like it. You still have to go make a motion. You still have to take a vote on it. So I want to know, how did Manesh know the last time to leave time so he can speak later? Because you never publicly announced that. You told, him, you told him in a back room deal to do that. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to follow your dumbass ways, Doug. OK? I'm a member of the public. I know what I can do and what I can't do. So stay in your damn lane. Um, Doug, you bully other feel, uh, female BOE members, Shannon, from her right to speak. I'd like to remind you, the public did vote for Shannon to be up there, and you have no respect for nothing except your own political agenda. Are you related to Ari Schneider from the Bush Law Group? I think members of the public would like to know, what is your relationship to this Ari Schneider, if maybe, maybe not? And here's the thing, this guy may have some good arguments. I'm not familiar with the story, but his delivery is terrible. He comes off as cocky, arrogant, and no one wants to take him seriously. But it seemed a little bit strange, you pushing this law firm, the Mayor Metuchen. Lawyer Rubin would show up, you say, oh, he has the best resume. And then she shows up every time. That was your whole excuse. You did the old bait and switch. Um, you make your own Schneider. You make your own rules, policies, and procedures. You're an idiot. You're a scumbag. 
Um, don't, don't shake your head. Don't shake your head, Maria. You're a Republican committee. Address the chair, please. You're supposed to be defending. Shut up. Um, you miss. You. Uh, you are. All, you are out of you order. You misinterpret. You misinterpret. You are out of order. With bad legal and advice. You I'm are not out of order. Engaging in improper I decorum. Out, I am not out of order. Um, I'm w within my legal rights. You Thank are you. not permitted to curse. Um, no, you are not. Rosenfeld versus New Jersey. You're actually allowed to curse, and that was an event that happened. You are not a to engage it does not in any if children are present. Comment. Allowed to Obscenity curse. is not Stop. covered by the I'd First Amendment. I'd like to reclaim Amendment. my time. Shut your damn mouth. Obscenity I'm is my not time. covered Shut your by damn mouth. the First Amendment. Shut your damn mouth. Obscenity is he's not. He's disrupting the meeting. We're going to ask. Obscenity we're going to ask him to leave now, please. Obscenity is not covered Rosenfeld. by the First Rosenfeld. Amendment. He's going to be asked to leave now. Security could ask. Court him out, please. Speak. I am not interrupting. I'm speaking very softly. No, you were not. You can't rewind the clock, uh, Christo. Please. Moves me out during my time. It's a lawsuit. Obscenity is not, not covered obscenity. by the First Amendment. He disrupted Amendment. the meeting, and you, you need to leave, please. Rosenfeld, Rosenfeld versus you need to leave. No, he's, he's not getting two minutes to talk. Thank He's you. not getting two minutes to talk. Rosenfeld versus New Jersey says, it's my time to speak. I'm not acting disorderly. You're being given bad legal advice. And now a police officer had to step in to enforce the law. God bless you. Thank you for standing up for my rights. Um, this is what America is about. This right here is what America is about. Um, Doug, you're a tyrant. You're a dictator. You have no respect for the public. He was just willing to have me dragged out during my time to speak. I hope you as board members address, address that. What did they want? Me to fight for my civil? I actually have every right to defend myself. What were you gonna do? Uh, put me in a situation where I can get shot, Doug? All right. You're a scumbag. Scumbag is not a curse. Rosenfeld versus New Jersey, you're allowed to curse. Um, you're such a bad lawyer. No wonder why they put the Metuchen lawyer in, because the Armenian lawyer, Jerry, would have never allowed this. He would have never allowed for a member of the public to be bullied. He would have stopped it giving, pro he would have stopped it giving proper legal advice to make sure that this town does not catch a lawsuit, which is the lawyer's job. It's not your job to cover up every time these scumbags break the law. Um, so the last time I was here, the Metuchen mayor was actually texting members of the audience telling them what to say, who to attack. Isn't it the Metuchen mayor's law firm? Isn't he supposed to protect all of you? So when he's telling members of the public to attack a certain BOE member, is that not a conflict of interest? Do we not have every right to call for a motion and have his law firm removed if, I, if there is evidence and you are shown evidence of that? If not, you're just negligent in your duties. Um, thank God we have smart police officers here today. I'm going to save my 10 seconds. I don't have to, but just it's all right. You're a scumbag, Doug. You're a piece of shit. All right. So that's Jersey cop watch or some nonsense like that. As you guys can see, He's very level-headed, very polite, very calm person, and people take him totally seriously. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. If you want to watch more frauditors getting owned, just head on over to our second channel. The link will be in the description. I live here!